So what is up everyone this is Kiran here welcome back to tech Kiran YouTube channel this one is Octavius 2.1 official version which I've installed it on my Redmi Note 9 Pro I'm also using it on my Poco X3 and it's also available for some other interesting devices I'll write a link in the description for all the official supported devices this is Octavius 2.1 with a bit of new changes but the thing is it's always one of the unique custom rooms available for a lot of devices this one is based on Android version 11 with the latest March security patch and this one is looking quite good. I'm using it for some time on my Redmi Note 9 Pro and on my Poco X3 also. The both devices performance etc seems to be quite good one so that's why I thought I should make a video on this as you can see the quick settings seems to be quite good one. You can customize a lot of things. I saw some interesting features in this Octavi OS official version so I thought let me share with you. This one is Octavius 2.1 and I've installed the Google Apps build here. If you talk about the smoothness, etc., the smoothness is quite good. I'm using it on my Redmi Note 9 Pro and as I previously told you, this is 60 FPS and the performance seems to be quite good. It comes with all those interesting features, screen recording, etc. Options are available here too. If you want to record a screen, you can simply record that without any issues. You cannot customize the frame rates, etc. But yes, you can do that. Like that we have many kind of custom tiles options available for you for example location, data saver, sound, screenshot, it has the audio mode tile option available, heads up gaming mode, CPU info, some interesting kind of tiles options are available here and you can simply reset them very easily. You cannot customize the rows and columns from here but you can customize by going into settings. If you move on to the home settings as it comes with the Google Apps build, it has both of the builds available for my device vanilla and Google Apps both. So if you have a Google Apps build, you will see this Pixel Launcher pre-installed. And Pixel Launcher is of course no app lock unfortunately, but that should be there, but this is not there. So that's not the big case. The swipe, the Google feed options are available here too. Don't use Google Chrome, that will give you some issues. So I've disabled that. This is why I am not using Google Chrome here. You will get pre-installed maybe, but don't use that. You just need to simply disable that. If we talk about the safety net status, the best thing is the best part is the safety net status is passing. So this seems to be good as in as my case, as you can see, Redmi Note 9 Pro status, safety and status compatibility test is passed. I will be able to use banking apps without any issues. If I go for the Play Store, going for the Play Store settings and yes, as I previously told you, the device is certified. So there are no issues in using banking apps. Everything seems to be quite good till now in this custom. This is Octavi OS 2.1, which seems to be a very satisfactory custom room. So yes, you can use it on your device if you want to. If you don't want to use it, it's just up to you. But I, in my thing, in my opinion, you can use it if you, if you want to. Moving on to the Dolby Audio which is which you get pre-installed, it's not that Dolby Audio which you get in other devices also, it's only for the Redmi Note 9 Pro users. If you're using this build on a Redmi Note 9 Pro device, then you might get this Dolby Audio. And yes, it's a me a toll build, so Redmi Note 9S, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro are supported also for that. This one is the options you can see, Hello Kern and like that you get same kind of options in other devices also. This was available in Octavius 2.0, 2.0 uh, again, but the thing is, it's good. The battery backup seems to be decent enough. I'm using it from past approximately 20 hours, as you can see. So the battery backup seems to be decent one. I haven't tested the most, but the thing is, it's good. And let me show you one more thing about this thing. For example, if I move the display, for example, if I move the display, we have all those options, display cutout, full screen apps. And in clock style, you can customize a lot of things. It has Octavi clock, bubble animation clock, divided lines. For example, click here. Here we have many options to customize these clocks. We have the minute ascent color, ascent color, hour ascent color. So many customizations in clock style. So this is quite good either. And Octavi, Octavi Lab, as expectedly, has interesting kind of welcome messages and many kind of theming options and other customization options. Like you can simply pick the ascent if you want to ascent color icon shape i have applied that custom fonts also g visual mode which is working perfectly fine and i've applied the custom font which is alt din 1451 metal script which is a very complicated name but yes it's good also let me show you one more thing for example if i open the security tab this is how you get you're getting now new headers everywhere in every menu for example privacy you have the new kind of big big letters headers options available everywhere the fingerprint face lock both options are available 
This is the new animation which you get in the Octavi L Octavi Lab, the new 2.1 version. This is this was not available, I think, previously, but in this build it's available. So all these things I've already shown you, customizations you already know. You can watch my previous videos, you'll get an idea. Thanks for watching. The link is in the description. Don't forget to like and share this video and goodbye.